Now call it a fortunate stroke of serendipity. It all started when Kyra Taylor put out a plea for another kidney on Facebook. The woman who answered has now become much more than a match. After I had my child, it kind of put too much strain on the kidney and that's when it shut down. 32 year old Kyra Taylor of Detroit was considered one of the lucky ones after she found a kidney donor in 2018. But last May, she caught COVID. The single mother spent 10 days in the hospital battling the virus and survived. But her transplanted kidney shut down, forcing her back on dialysis for three hours a day, three times a week. I got a child. I wanted to go back to work. Desperate, Kyra posted this plea on Facebook, hoping for a live kidney donor. It was manifesting miracles, and then the next day, the first post that I see on Facebook is somebody that needs a kidney. Somehow, the post made it to Alexandra McCarthy in Kentucky. After years of substance abuse, the 29-year-old had recently turned her life around, had a baby, and went back to school. She says she also started focusing on manifesting through meditation, which she believes is behind their connection. Now I'm able to save a life. Like I said before, it's kind of a no brainer. Like I have two kidneys. She just needs one kidney so she can continue to live. She just inboxed me out of the blue and she said, hey, um, I think I'm a match. It had only been a few days, but Kyra had found her live kidney donor and turns out Alexandra was a perfect match. I was shocked. Um, I didn't think that you know, it was people out there like her. You know, it's, you know the way the world is. After she told me that uh, she was going to get her blood draw, that's when it hit me like, like, dang, she about to actually do this. <laughs> the women met for the first time last November at Henry Ford Health when Alexandra traveled to town from Kentucky for preliminary blood work. Unfortunately, because of COVID, the transplant date has been pushed back several times. The date has now been rescheduled for April 27th. Because of travel costs, lodging, and everything insurance doesn't cover, the women started a GoFundMe page called Faith Over Fear, hoping to raise enough money to support them and their children until they can get back to work. A blessing to be able to bless her. Like, she's, she's a sweet girl, and she deserves another chance at life. If anybody deserves four kidneys, it's her. Kyra and Alexandra started off as two complete strangers, but over time have formed an unbreakable bond and consider each other family. I call her my sister. <laughs> my kidney kidney sister. sisters, yeah, we're kidney <laughs> sisters. I gained a whole new family, like my baby has cousins. And I love you, love you, love you so much for doing this. Thank you so much. I love you, girl, forever. Isn't that unbelievable? If there is anyone else out there who would like to help someone like Kyra, just go to henryfordlivingdonor.org. And we also put a link to the GoFundMe page, Faith Over Fear, on our website. You can find the link with the story. I mean, you know, some family members don't even match. match. And yet, right. here's yeah. this woman, this total stranger in Kentucky is a perfect match. And, you know, it's interesting. Helping to save someone's life creates such a powerful bond. It is, and they and, turn out have so much in common yeah. with each other. And, um, and once the transplant is done, mm -hmm. they tell me they have lots of plans. This relationship is far from over. Yeah. They're going to get together over the summer. She's coming to Detroit. She had never been here before. Their kids, their families. So it is really special and nice to see. Yeah. It's a wonderful story. Yeah. 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 Thanks, and that Tara. means any one of us can be a match. Yes. You need Just to go get on website. the registry. Exactly. Sure. Thanks, right. Tara. You're welcome.